All right, guys, so I'm playing Riven top lane, but this time I'm going to teach you guys one of the more interesting matchups, the uh, Riven versus Small Fight tank matchup. So it's one of the more hated matchups by you guys. Like I've recently had like a lot of people telling me like how much they hate this matchup. So it's actually quite easy if you know what you're doing. So what we have this game is uh, Conquer. We got Triumph, Alacrity. We got Last Ascent, Transcendence, and Gathering. All right, so first things first. What you need to know about this matchup, guys. The crucial part. There's two versions of Malphite. There's the Grass version, which is what this guy's running. And you have the Arcane Comet Malphite. The difference between both is that Arcane Comet Malphite is... It really hate... I really hate playing against it. But um, you take your shield and you block the Q each time. And that's like the main damage. If you play against Grass Malphite... It's a more tanky version, which does more damage also on W and E. So, the way how we're going to approach the Grasp version is we're quite literally going to short trade each time we get my Q and W back up. That's going to be the plan. So, pretty much literally every time he tries going for a CS, um, we will be dropping my QW down. Also, if you can, mix up like an auto in between. I'm going to go all in there. And we got him. Now, the reason why we win so hard, right? Because it to you guys, to some of you guys, it would look like you would lose, right? The reason why we win so hard is because when we all in, I've had my conquer stacks fully stacked. I've had 12 stacks on the conquer. So if you re-engage... You're going to you're much more likely to win the trade because you're going to, to get some 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 real damage off of that conquer. Um and also the effect on it, so having like a fully stacked conquer is incredibly, incredibly OP guys. Again, he's trying to freeze the wave, so we didn't we stopped that by starting up a short trade against him. So drop down a fast Q. It's okay if we take damage right now because we're about to go back very soon. But we're gonna do whatever we can to like make him lose as much HP as possible. Alright, we're gonna let it for what it is. If we backboard right now, then he's gonna be stuck up with like this low HP, which means if I go back right now, the wave will shove into me, we're actually gonna win way harder. So it's gonna be very favorable for me. All right, let's go back. Okay, so watch this. So right now, this guy has no potions. He's got only a Dorn Shield, only armor. The wave is about to shove into me, as you can see right here. This wave is going to stack up and it will push into me. So the plan now, knowing that he does not have TP and no potions, we are going to force him with every trade we can, and we're going to force him to stay in the lane, okay? The last one is the most important, so he has no sustain, no potions, nothing. If we can force him in lane right now and force him to stay, then we can deny him a lot of the wave. I'm going to shove this wave. Seems like we're getting ganked. Okay. I had to flash, unfortunately. Rango used Red Trinket on the on the river camp. We're gonna start shoving uh shoving the wave because we want Malfi to stay in lane. Even if we are at risk of Rango ganking. I went for Ah he actually got TP, I thought it was down. Okay. He's gonna Q me. Yeah, for some reason, I thought that his TP was down, but apparently he still has it. It's okay. Apparently, he's got a ward in that brush. Interesting. 
Let's go back. <clears throat> All right, so let's go. We can probably kill Rengar here. Okay. He's going to walk to the left. That's that's fine. I'm going to keep running for Rengar. Actually failed the wall jump. Malfa I think we can kill him. Um, he's got no mana. Oh, he's got flash too. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I, I could have killed him technically. I could have done it, but Lulu was also behind him. Okay. Yeah, well, at least we got like one kill out of it, but... Kind of hoping I would survive. I could then run back top lane and not miss the wave. So, yeah, back to doing the same routine. Probably what's going to happen is that Malfei will come back with, uh, with Bramble's Fest. Maybe even more like tanky items. So it might still become a little bit of a struggle. We'll see. Like at the end of the day, it's fine if Malfi gets uh becomes more tanky because we have like Riffin is much better mid lane game because we have like wave clear, we can make pressure. Team fighting is also good. We also outscale Malfi pretty hard, so in worst case scenario, if you don't kill him, we're still gonna be fine. Gotta be careful about Rengar. Rengar's the biggest issue. How should I proceed? This camp will spawn. Let's take it. So right now, like the 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 focus of the lane is gonna be uh, quite simple. We're going to rely on just farming jungle camps for now and keep shoving the lane. That's the plan. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. We're going to have to run, unfortunately. We can't kill him. I was thinking maybe I just stack my conquer up, but... Not able to. He's actually got three kills. That's why he's so strong right now. That's the only reason. So unfortunate to see Malphi getting so many kills around this around the lane. And then turning like this. So unfortunate to see. I think he might already have Frostfire or whatever he's building. If he um, if he comes back now, I hope he doesn't. <laughs> Something's telling me he will come back with a Frostfire. I don't know. Please don't. Rengar's in ball lane, because he took the dragon. He's staying, like, really long in base, so I'm assuming he's just waiting for his item. Yeah, he got a Frostfire. Alright, all I can say is, like, Frostfire Malphite is incredibly scary once he has a lead on you. It's not fun. But I'm sure, like, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine right now. We just have to play the long game.
Thank you. You see? He's got a frost fire. We haven't even completed my item yet. Um, but just based from what I know, if we can stack my conquer, like he doesn't stand a chance against me, even if he hits the combo. It it de it depends on how Malphite approaches you. If he approached me in a different way, I would never be able to do this. Nice, we get one more plate. Now we go back, we're gonna buy Gorchinker and... I will go for the city boots. Once we have the chance. Let's go. Luckily, we got the kill mall fight. That's going to make things so much better. Okay. Nice. He's got Herald. I think that things will change for good now. Because um, we are coming to a point where I have wave clear. Like, really good wave clear. I can just shove the lane now and then take jungle camp super easily. Um, we also have a Yumi this game, um, which will certainly make the game easier for me. If I pop off with Yumi, I'm going to be really hard to beat, for sure. No wards. I think he saw him. Let's just shove. I'm not going to be looking into fighting Malphite as much anymore. I'm going to be looking into taking more jungle camps, or, you know, in their jungle. Choose your own path. Let's take the wave. Forest Rango showing up. I don't care. Hmm. Staying away from the Rengar. We got to stay away from the, the, the jump from Rengar. You should still be here. Yeah. Hmm. He's not, he's not, he doesn't have R. He can't do much. He's dead. And there we go. Now we take the next wave. I'm going to keep that tower for what it is because I want the wave to go down so that Malphite doesn't get anything off that wave. And then instead we're going to be going for... Um, I'll hopefully get some jungle camps. Or actually a ward, maybe. Wait, what? He's going for a TP. <laughs> He's like saving the ward, okay. He's still chasing me down. I have no R, so I cannot chase, unfortunately. There's a mall fight with R, so... There's an Urga top lane. Sure. Let's take this wave. And we take the blue. Nice. Let's give it to Yumi cause so he can spam more. It's okay if he trades me a couple times. It's fine, like I don't I don't mind. Let's see, maybe we can get like another jungle camp. 
Again, I'm letting the wave crash under tower so that Malphite is going to lose the whole wave. Drag it a little bit. Now we reset. I'm gonna buy the black lever so we can shred Malphite even better. And now we're going to be looking to go mid lane, and then from mid lane we will probably pass top lane again. So we can do the same strategy all over. And now we got Black Leaper, so the game is going to be so much easier. Hello, Rengar. They ran off that way. Again, they're losing a whole wave because the, the wave is crashed like under tower, so. See you later. Now we take this wave up here. I'm gonna make sure that the wave keeps being fully pushed. Nice. Let's go blue. There's no camp here, unfortunately. I'm considering taking the wave in uh, between the, the, the two towers, actually. Man, we're like becoming so farmed up. Like this game is gonna be. Uh, you will see soon once we get back. Like how much it will pay off to play like this. Thinking about shopping the the next wave. Got it. Back to mid lane, taking the next wave now. So yeah, you see like you're not fighting Malphite, you're just farming against him all day. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Take the wave again. Nice Let's try. Oh, okay, I'm dead. Yeah, they they went. Uh, they he even pressed flash on me. Not bad. Okay. Let's go for Lucidity. Let's go for this one. We're going to be building into Death Sense right now, and that's going to make us even more unkillable. <clears throat> Wait, one quick thing. Um, Hi, Dave. You played the first ripping game yesterday against bots, and she's even more difficult than you thought, even having in mind what you say, but somehow you were happy. She was something that catches you. Thank you for introducing me to this champion, Dave. <laughs> hey, no problem, man. I guess that's your first game towards like maining the champion. Most people that start playing Riffin will eventually start maining her, so. <laughs> I'm glad I can help you know find your champion, man. This Fiego dude, come on man, he's like he's like pushing balling all day. Come on man. Is that really how we play League here? 
I've got you, buddy. Thank you. This will not happen again. Let's push it out of the way. Can't wait to uh, to get death stance, but eventually also getting a grudge. Like Grutch has slowly started to become one of my favorite items in League. For the amount of damage you receive, ability haste and slows. Take the wolves. Maybe some other jungle camps. Choose your own. <laughs> I'm inting. <laughs> Let's take this one here. Hmm, maybe there's some more camps I can take. There you go. Yeah, Fiego's doing the same tactic again. Yeah, let's uh, stop Fiego. I'm I'm just gonna go bot. Mm. Let's take care of him. <laughs> I'm, I'm way too fat right now. I, I can't be killed anymore. I've got death stance now, and I'm also building towards uh, towards GA. I'll take their red buff. This is just like one of those games where we power farm all day. Nothing else. It's like one of those weird games where you're not necessarily getting kills, but rather you're like just power farming, side lanes, jungle camps, anything on the map you will take it, you know. I'm gonna get back because I think they're pushing mid. Yep. Like I thought, they were pushing mid lane. Bro, come on. Thank you. Take the camp up here. Yeah, I'm too fed right now. Like, like, like I said, this is just one of those power farming games. Once you're um, at some point in the game, you will be so many levels ahead that it doesn't matter what they do, you will end up killing them anyway. I hate Lulu, man. I hate the fact of what she can do. It's so annoying. Okay. Uh, Leah, let's go for the final item, which I suppose is just gonna be a chain sword. I was thinking about Grudge as a final item, but they have like so much healing in that in in that team, so. We, we gotta cut that healing. It's a little too much. There you go. 
Or I could sell my item. <laughs> I could sell my lucidity boots. Uh, nah, never mind. <laughs> I'm taking that back. Got red potion. Choose your own path. Maybe we can replace my lucidity boots like later on. And we gotta get Baron soon. Just ping in the Baron so my team knows. Ooh, more camps. Man, what a what a what a power farming game. <laughs> so many camps, what? So many. Okay. What? Um, this will be tricky, but I can survive. Whoops. I really need Grudge for Perma Slows. Nice. And here we go again. We can soon replace my Lucidity boost as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on farming up until I have my uh, my crutch. I think. Or I think I can purchase that right now, actually. Yeah, I can purchase that now. Uh, grudge. There you go. I'm full build. Even my lucidity boots is pretty gone now. <laughs> now I just need a red potion. There you go. I nearly have my red potion, but um, we are going to go mid lane anyway, because I think if we go mid is five. Yeah, we're going to kill them anyway. Yeah, this game is over. We got <laughs> we got the grass that we purpose though. though. <laughs> See a late whore. This game is done. See a late whore. Anyway, guys, this is uh. Riff and Top Lane, thanks so much for watching today's YouTube fit, and I'll see you next time.
Peace.